Hi, it's Tail, and I'm here um, playing Rise of Flight once again, um, because this is now turning into a Rise of Flight only channel. Um, I'll explain more about the plans regarding that later, but first let's uh, get into the mission, what we'll, what we'll be doing today. Um, so here I am, 2nd Lieutenant Fishing, Fishington Chip. It says I've flown two missions, but I've only flown one, so I don't know what that's all about. Um, I've lowered the ground and structure density to low. I'm going to keep air density at medium and see how we go regarding the frame rates. I've also load, uh, lowered some of the graphics settings a little bit, as uh, suggested by Mr. Jimmy Blonde, the uh, Aussie ace who flies planes as well and records himself doing so. Um, so let's see what our mission will be for today. Mission. One mission. Uh, patrolling. We'll be patrolling today. Uh, let's see here. So we'll be taking off from Wafuze, heading along the lines, then crossing the lines, patrolling about, presumably then heading home. It doesn't have any waypoints for heading home. I assume once we get here, then. Um, the AI will automatically head that way. We've got light, cloud cover, six miles per hour wind. Patrol airspace near Mont Didier. Engage, enemy, engage any enemy aircraft that you encounter. Reconnaissance and artillery spotting aircraft in the primary target. And with me today, our second lieutenant Conroy Staple and the famous lieutenant Sinclair Dunch. Um, I shall accept this mission. Thank you. Good. And now that will have uh, created a single mission in Rise of Flight. So, time to skip over there. I'll see you now. So, here we are on the map. Um, it is now the 25th of August. It took me a while to recover from the injuries I sustained during my death-defying ordeal in the last mission. But I'm back. I'm ready to get into some action again. Uh, yeah, and this, as you have already seen, is our flight plan. Just before we get into the mission, um, just want to let you all know I am still watching the Soccer Ball Cup of the World. I know some of you thought that all the excitement might have been over after the, the match between Belarus and Taiwan finally ended after three weeks in the goalless draw. But you couldn't have been less right. Because yesterday, during a match between the country of Equator and the country uh, that used to be the Roman Empire, um, a man, a player for Equator by the name of Louis Soiree, ate an opponent raw. He's done it three times during a football match in the past. Eat an opponent live during a match raw. And the uh, Soccer Ball Cup of the World Association have released a statement saying that he cannot be stopped. And... Um, we just don't know who's going to be next. Um, so that's what's been happening there. Um, personally, I I don't eat raw people. I find that pork recipes usually work well with human. Um, but anyway, as you can see, the plane is um, here still. Looking pretty good. Let's see what this patrol will bring us. P. There we go. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Let's uh, increase the fuel mixture. So I have reduced the landscape settings to medium from high, hoping that this might help with the uh, slowness of the action. But we shall see. Um, somebody gave a good tip, which I should have realized, but I was too stupid to, that you can look at the clock in the bottom left hand corner and tell if it's going slowly because of the second hand. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Let's start this baby up. I think... Oh, there we go. They're all starting up as well, so that's good. Lower the fuel mixture a little bit. And away goes Dunch. He's off. like a crazed whippet and then the other guy whose name I can't remember 
And then it's me. Some weird object behind me, I don't know what that is. Okay. Whoa, let's pitch down a bit. Take off speed achieved. And I have arisen into the air. As is my right. What's that up there? Piece of flak. Oh, you know what I've forgotten to do? I forgot to enable the mods again. I was playing some multiplayer and I turned off the mods for multiplayer and then I'm supposed to turn them back on for the single player, but I forgot, so... Um, this is going to be played without mods, I guess, this mission. I don't think there's anything too important that will impact the quality. I guess we'll have to see. Does mean we're going to get this ambient flak, which I don't care for very much. And the AI behaviour might also change as well as the rate of fire. I was going to get rid of the um, reduced lethality mod anyway, just to make it um, easier to shoot down planes. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I just have to live with it now. It's too late. I need to try and remind myself to do that next time. Oh well, I'm sure I'll forget again. So, we're now heading southwards across the lines, gaining altitude, and I'm going to skip here while we ascend, so um, I'll see you very shortly. Oh, okay, I think we may have spotted something. I'm heading north. Flying on the other side of the enemy lines. And my colleagues have suddenly broken away. So they may have spotted a target. But where is it? That is the question. I'm going too fast. Oh, don't crash into me! Where'd they go? Down there. What have they found? I am blind because I can't see... What's my engine doing? This is confusing. Trying to fly and look for a dot in the sky. It's not easy. I don't know where we're going. Uh, what are we doing? It's a pity we don't have a radio. And I could ask them, where are we going? I don't think we got to the end of the waypoint. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm a little bit puzzled. There's the river that just ends in the middle of no man's land, which is here. Now we're turning northward again. The performance in terms of uh, frames is pretty good at the moment, which is uh, a good thing. And now we are turning around. What's going on? Am I missing something? Where did my... There he is, this bunch. What's he doing? 
Has he lost his mind? Dunch, come back. You just flew in a... A 360, basically, for no apparent reason. And now we're doing this. Is there an enemy that I can't see, or what? <gasps> aha! Aha! Okay. I see something now. Okay, there's a plane down there. There's also some planes over here. They're attacking that one. I think I'm going to have a go at one of these. I did not see them at all. It's quite hard to make out against the uh, front line. A black dot against a big black wasteland. Uh, okay, let's see what we have here. Guess these are probably DFWs. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, they're firing at me. Yeah, maybe attacking all of them at once probably was not such a good idea. I'll try and see if I can single one out. Few shots on the wing. Come on, you bastard. Yes, goodbye. Well, that's what uh, removing the reduced lethality mod will do for you. One down, there he goes. Oh, that was probably a shell. Oh, then, where are the where do the other ones go? Who is this? What are you? You're an enemy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Okay, let's turn around. Whoop, he's shooting at me, okay. Try and come at him from beneath. Wing shots again. Try not to get directly behind him to give the uh, observer a bit of a harder time to kill me. Missed. Come on. Uh, where did he go? Eh? He was right. That was weird. Oh, now you're shooting at me, eh? Okay. Or oh, was the observer shooting at me? Probably. I lost him there, he went into this little slat uh, just before the cutout in the wing and he must have turned or something or I don't know, but I lost him. But I found him again, that's the main thing. Let's have another go. Oh, 
Round we go. He looks in bad shape. I think I just killed the observer and the pilot. So long. Oh, right in the trench. Oh, I got him right in the trench. Excellent. So that's two kills to uh, report when I get back to base. Assuming I get back to base. What's that up there? Could be an or oh, could be another couple of enemies actually up there. Is there more to come? I am kind of living dangerously a bit because it could be an enemy squadron. Oh, those are my friends. Excellent. I've managed to find my friends by accident. Wonder if I can join in. See, I kind of feel like with the reduced lethality mod off, the planes seem to break apart a little too easily, and then when it's on, they don't break apart at all. Um, and I would prefer a balance to be struck somehow between the two um, options. I'm not sure if I can uh, tweak the mod at all. I don't know exactly how it would work. Maybe someone can help me. Maybe Jimmy Vlong can help me. Jimmy! Um, so these guys are doing a bad job of shooting this guy down. I think it's time for Mr. Chip to come in and show them how it's done. Move over, gentlemen. The expert has arrived. Um, just need to be careful they don't fly into me. Trying to aim for the pilot and or engine. And I've lost him again. And my engine keeps cutting out again. Oh, there he is. My guns keep jamming, which is not helping, but uh, there you go. Come on, number three. My God, so close. Yeah, there he goes. Bye bye. Let's just make sure. You see? Oh, there's another one. Oh god, this is a fighter. Oh god. Have we been pounced? We've been pounced upon. That was an extreme lack of situational awareness and tunnel vision, which I just displayed, because we're now in a fight for our lives with a squadron of albatrosses. That's what can happen. Okay, I wonder how much ammo I've got left. I feel the game is slowing down a bit now as well. 
second hand seems to be ticking a little slowly. I think I might have just got another kill there as well, maybe. Okay, well, what's going on here? We need reinforcements! Yeah, it is slowing down a bit. Hopefully, when I get my new processor sometime next week, everything will be tickety-boo. I think I'm going to go for a 6 or 8 core processor. Something like 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz. So I don't really know uh, the ins and outs of processing. Anyway, I probably should be concentrating on this, really. I'm just going in a circle right now, always. Aha, there he is. I think my left gun is out of ammo now. So I need to try and pick my shots carefully. And I may need to make a run for it. Oh god! Uh, no, no, that's it! No more ammo, okay. And... I think I have somebody on my tail. I do. Okay, let's run away. I need to head west. He's chasing me. Oh, don't do that. Oh, God. Oh, no, my wing. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> uh, well, I am yet again still alive. I've got a moustache now, it looks like. Um, <laughs> I was not paying attention to the ground. And that's what happened. But I am still alive. Let's have a look at these enemies here. Here's one of the albatrosses. This one I damaged a little bit. There's another one up here. And then the balloon. What about my friends? Oh, we've got some new ports. A lot of new ports. Where were you when we needed you? And that's it. I think my colleagues may have been the dust Mr. Dunch and the guy's name I didn't remember. I wonder if these new ports will run into the albatrosses and uh, exact some revenge. I sure hope so. But that was interesting. So I got three kills on the two seaters, possibly one more with an albatross, but uh, I'm not too sure about the th fourth one. I think I'll claim it anyway and see what they say. Um, let's try. Whoops, that's me again. Trying to see if there's going to be any more action here with these planes, but maybe not. They're heading this way. These guys are heading out to enemy territory now, so I think that's probably going to be it for now. For this mission, oops, what have I done? Paused it. Um, yeah, so I'm on our side of the lines, just. At least I hope I am. And I better get out of here before a shell lands on me. Finish flight, okay. <laughs> there we go, finish flight. So according to this, I got three. Prime objective failed, probably because we all crashed. 
Um, but now it's time to head on back to the uh, campaign generator to see exactly what happened. All right, back at the map. So uh, let's head back to campaign. And then combat report. Victory is claimed. I'm going to claim four. Uh, I shall claim three DFWs. And I think it was an albatross D3. Not too sure. We'll see what happens. Submit report. Here we are. Start debrief. We flew down the lines, headed that way. Then we tangled with uh, some DFWs. A lot of other stuff happened. And then we crashed. So I got one two three dfw conroy staple that was his name got another one mr dunch managed to get one of the albatrosses but then he was destroyed staple destroyed by an albatross i damaged an albatross and then i basically destroyed myself oh and then i got another albatross okay so i did get four nice one um great debrief completed combat report Combat's in the air. Uh, let's see. Successes. Two albatrosses shot down by... Oh, you got two albatrosses. Okay, fair enough. I got three DFWs and an albatross. And Staple got DFW, but killed in action, as I feared. Sinclair Dunch and Lieutenant Conroy Staple. Ah. <sighs> Staple. Uh, I've been injured again, as usual. And then, oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what I would, thought he would look like with a name like that, Dunch. Uh, but now he's dead. Oh, well. Um, Lieutenant Staple got the wound strike for dying. So did Dunch. Um, we've had a transfer in. Lieutenant Donald Phillips has arrived and Lieutenant Vincent Aylmer, he looks pretty evil. We have moved to Abile or Abile, I don't know how they pronounce that. Abile East, okay, interesting. In the news, Kurt Wolf was lost in action, as was uh, Georges Georges Geinamer and Louis Jenkin. And the news is that Passchendaele is going to be taken, which is nice. I don't seem to have been awarded a medal, even though I shot down four planes, which I'm a little bit peeved off by, but there we go. Right, well, that was uh, an exciting mission. Um, so it shows you what the campaign generator can do, I guess. Even on medium settings in the air, there were quite a few planes in, around. Um, and I managed to survive once in a while against all the odds. But I now have four victories in this squadron. Obviously, I have a few from previous campaign, but um, those are kind of been wiped out now, I suppose. Um, this is clearly wrong. I don't know why it's giving me four missions when I've only flown two. It seems to be doubling it every time. Anyway, um, that's that for this mission. Um, looks like the next mission will be taking place on the 17th of September when I've returned once more from the hospital. Um, so basically I'm flying a mission and then I'm spending a month in the hospital to recover and coming back again. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching a lot and um, I shall see you next time.